Finally, this intervention uh, from Labour coming just days after the announcement of this uh, Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. Yeah, you know, this vaccine could just be the silver bullet that we've all been looking for. And even the UK have purchased uh, 20 million uh, doses for 20 million people, especially because of its 90% prevention rate that is still in its final stages of testing. Uh, but now it's very important for people to have that information at their disposal. Uh, earlier, uh, independent group SAGE reiterated this, and here's what they had to say. The data we've seen so far uh, has not been fully comprehensive, so we need to see um, fully checked data that's that's come from the drug company, but also been checked independently. I don't think there is any scepticism or any reason to doubt that the vaccine is safe at the moment. There have been no serious adverse effects in over 20,000 people who were given the vaccine, um, but obviously the more data we have, the better. Now, currently, the government have collaborated with various social media platforms to remove such anti-vax content that may be used for monetary purposes or, or to be flagged. Um, however, the Labour Party are pushing for more, and they're actually calling for more regulation around this, asking for such content uh, to be... Uh, have a financial uh, repercussions as well as criminal repercussions um, and so they're calling for that online harm legislation to be implemented and even offering to have some form of cross-party uh, union over that um, and so it's very interesting to see how this debate will develop especially as the year is coming to an end and we could see a potential vaccine being rolled out. Lape, thank you.